Now let's talk about even and odd functions. Let's go over the even functions first. Cosine is an even function. Cosine of negative x is equal to cosine of x. And the reciprocal of cosine, which is secant, is also an even function. Secant of negative x is equal to secant x. So those are the even functions. The other four are odd trigonometric functions. So for example, sine of negative x is negative sine x. Notice that the sine changes. And cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine, is also an odd function. Cosecant negative x is negative cosecant, I was about to write cosine, negative cosecant positive x. Tangent is also an odd function. Tan negative x is negative tangent x. And also cotangent of negative x is negative cotangent of x. So those are the even and odd trigonometric functions. Now how do we apply this information? So let's say if we want to find a value of cosine of negative 45 degrees. Well we know that cosine of negative x is simply positive cosine of positive x. So therefore cosine negative 45 is equivalent to just cosine of 45. Now using a unit circle we know that 45 corresponds to the point square root 2 over 2 comma square root 2 over 2. So cosine 45 is root 2 over 2 and cosine negative 45 is the same thing root 2 over 2. So these are the same. Now what about sine of negative pi over 3? We know that sine of negative x is negative sine x. So therefore, sine of negative pi over 3 is negative sine pi over 3. So at an angle of pi over 3, this corresponds to the point out of the unit circle, which is uh, 1 half root 3 over 2. And sine is associated with the y value. So sine of pi over 3 is positive root 3 over 2, but with a negative sign in front. Sine negative pi over 3 is going to be negative root 3 over 2. And negative pi over 3 is basically an angle in quadrant 4. So this is negative pi over 3. And we know that sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. And so thus this is an agreement with the answer that we have, negative root 3 over 2. Now what about tangent of negative 3 pi over 4? Let's try that one. So tangent of negative x is an odd function. So this is negative tangent of x. So therefore, this is going to be negative tangent of 3 pi over 4. Now, at pi over 4, we have the point square root 2 over 2 comma square root 2 over 2. Now at 3 pi over 4, which is in quadrant 2, we have a similar point, but only x is negative, y is positive. So if you recall, tangent is going to be y divided by x. In this case, at 3 pi over 4, we have root 2 over 2, divided by negative root 2 over 2. So the square root 2's will cancel, the 2's will cancel, and so we're left with root 2 over 2 is just 1. But this one is negative, so overall it's going to be negative 1. So tangent 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. But negative times negative is going to equal a positive value. So tangent of negative 3 pi over 4 is positive 1. Now let's make sense of it. So here's 3 pi over 4. It's in quadrant 2. And in quadrant 2, we know that 
x is positive, y is negative. So because tangent is y over x, when you take a negative value and divide it by a positive value, you get a negative result. That's why tangent 3 pi over 4 was a negative answer. Now, what about tangent of negative 3 pi over 4? So to get negative 3 pi over 4, we need to go in the other direction, which is here. And notice that negative 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3, x and y are both negative. So tangent, which is y over x, if you take a negative number and divide it by a negative number, you're going to get a positive value. And so that's why tangent 3 pi over 4 was negative 1, but tangent negative 3 pi over 4 was positive 1, which makes tangent an odd function. Now, try this one. Cosecant of negative 5 pi over 6. Now, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So therefore, cosecant is going to be an odd function. So this is equal to negative cosecant of positive 5 pi over 6. Now, 5 pi over 6 can be found in quadrant 2. The reference angle of 5 pi over 6 is pi divided by 6. And we know the point for pi over 6. It's root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. So 5 pi over 6, which is in quadrant 2, we only have to change the x-coordinate. Now, cosecant is 1 over sine. And sine 5 pi over 6 corresponds to the y-value, which is 1 half. So sine 5 pi over 6 is positive 1 half. And 1 divided by 1 half is 2. But overall, it's negative 2. So therefore, cosecant negative 5 pi over 6 is negative 2. Negative 5 pi over 6 is in quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3, the y value is negative. And so that's why cosecant neg negative 5 pi over 6 is going to be a, a negative answer overall. Because if you actually plot this, this will take it to quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3, y is negative. Let's try secant of negative 11 pi over 6. So feel free to pause the video and work on that example. Now secant is an even function because it's the reciprocal of cosine, which is also even. So secant negative x is the same as secant x. So basically, we're looking for a secant of positive 11 pi over 6. 11 pi over 6 is in quadrant 4. And pi over 6 is in quadrant 1. In quadrants 1 and 4, cosine is positive. And secant, which is 1 over cosine, is also positive. Therefore, our final answer should be positive. Now, at pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, we have this point. So 11 pi over 6, only the y value changes. x is negative in quadrants 2 and 3, but x is positive in 1 and 4. And y is negative in quadrant 4. Right now, this is in quadrant 4. Now, using the reciprocal identity, we know that secant is 1 over cosine. And cosine corresponds to the x value. So at 11 pi over 6, cosine is root 3 divided by 2. And 1 divided by root 3 over 2 is going to be 2 over root 3. And we know what to do here. We need to rationalize. So therefore, the final answer is 2 root 3 over 3. So that's secant negative 11 pi over 6 using the even and odd properties of trigonometric functions. Now let's try one last problem. Find the value of tangent of negative pi. So tangent is an odd function. Tangent negative pi is negative tangent of positive pi. Now it turns out that positive pi and negative pi are the same. This is positive pi. And this is negative pi. They both lead to the same point. 
which is negative 1 comma 0. So let's evaluate negative tan pi. Tangent is y over x. y is 0, x is negative 1, but once you have a 0 on top, the whole thing is going to be 0. So tan negative pi or negative tan pi, which is y over x, the whole thing is just going to be 0. But they're the same. They're equal to each other. 